lot with uh, like attachment and identification. Uh -huh. uh, this kind of popped up from like this past Friday. Um, you know, I, I do my morning sit and I got to work. My boss sat me down and I went through like a three month interview process. And then like he sat me down and told me, you know, thanks for doing it, but I'm gonna go with your, like my coworker got the role. So immediately my body's just like, what the fuck? And then, like, luckily the day before, I did a sit where it was like going over the like, same acronym where it's like stop, allow, investigate, feeling, and then like non identification. So, like, after I met with my boss, you know, I went to the conference room, kind of sat for a little bit, and like I stopped, you know, allowed the emotions to come through, gave space for that. You know, I investigated, I could feel my body, my face was like all flustered, my hands were shaking, my heart was beating. But then, like, the non identification part, I'm like, what do I do? Like, I cannot identify with this feeling. So it was tough for me to sit through mm. shit. Like I go back to my desk, my coworker got the role sitting right next to me. I'm like, oh, like I'm happy for her. I'm telling her, like, oh, I'm happy for you. That's fine. And then like my emotions, my body's telling me, like, no, this is fucking bullshit. Like I should be in this role. Like, no, I spent three months like projecting what my future self would do with this role, this job, this money. And then, like I'm sitting a lot over the weekend and just like the non-identification with the emotions and the feelings is just tough right now. But mm. And in the great scheme of things, you know, I'm going through a lot this past year, you know, and this job's bullshit, and really, you know, I shouldn't even, uh, like, went for it, and in the larger part of my life, there's a lot going on. But just that emotion of identity, yeah, that situation of what sure. your future self should have been, you know, just hard to kind of detach from that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they took three months to do this in every project? Yeah, that's bullshit. Yeah, that is bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of stages, a lot of, like, you know, what would you do in the situation? It's a lot of like projecting my. A lot of life. bullshit. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> Three months of bullshit. Yeah. Of course you feel that way. Yeah. So, it's like, instantly I can feel in my body just like, oh, like, everything in my body just kind of like, like, just turned up like 50 yeah. degrees. I know, you know, I know why you're feeling like this. Because you had your heart set on getting this job and you tried really hard and then you didn't get it and it was really upsetting and disappointing. Yeah. That's how I would feel. Yeah. yeah. Just, uh, any suggestions on like non attachment or non identification with like emotions or like during the set? I mean, you know what, what we mean by that is, in this context is just that it's like that, that reaction is just natural. It's not something you're doing or not doing. You know, like, if I really want something and I don't get it, especially after three months, I'd feel, I'd feel like it was bullshit. And I'd be angry about it. Now, if you've had the misfortune of practicing a little bit of Buddhism, you might get into this thing where you're like, oh, like, as a good Buddhist, I shouldn't be upset and see I'm attached and that's not right. How do I let go of this? And like my face is flustered, and maybe they should know that. They'll see that. So, how do I just let go of this and be cool? That's bullshit. That whole, that whole bit is bullshit. This practice is not about becoming superhuman, it's about actually accepting our humanity in a really deep way. And and, um, and not being ashamed of it. You know, I actually think one of the reasons this practice is popular is because it's, um, it gets kind of sold with an American culture as a kind of like, it almost reminds me of what, you know, you, like in the old days used to be called like success literature, or kind of like, you know, this kind of like, hey, you know, 10 steps to being a better you or some bullshit like that. Um, but to me, like, and I believe me, that's how I signed up. I mean, definitely. Um, but over the years, you start to see that, like, oh, the pro that's the problem. I'm, like, hooked into this because I think that somehow the way that I am is somehow, like, wrong and unacceptable and, I don't know, unlovable or unattractive. You know, we get all these crazy ideas, right? And then I'm going to somehow meditate my way to health or some shit. And um, that's really not it. It's actually, that's like the ego co-opting this practice in just the same exact way. It's just another, that, that becomes just another way 
that like we're not okay now and I gotta become some better version of myself in the future and when I do that then then it'll be better, you know? And that's still like, ultimately that's still just rejecting the present moment. It's just like in a new cool spiritual way. Um, so really, I, to me the, dis, the non-identification is that it's not really about you. It's like, well yeah, of course you feel that way. Like, sounds like a really fucking frustrating, disappointing experience. Um, so seeing that as, as not like your fault, like, see, there's this problem we have where like we sort of, we take ourselves very personally, I guess is the way to say it. And how we feel, we kind of put, tend to pathologize it, like, oh, what's wrong with me that I feel this way? Like nothing, that's just how you feel. Seeing it that way allows you to stay in the present moment. Because you, you, then we're not preoccupied with fixing it somehow, right? Um, to actually be here now, you have to at least accept the here and now. I mean, that, that, you know what I mean? Like, if, you, if we don't have that, it's like, how can you be here now if, if like, you know, you're still in, in debate about whether this is even happening or whether it should be happening? So, um, I would invite you to have some compassion for yourself and just your just basic fundamental humanity. I can't imagine someone not feeling that way after like a three month interview process and then your coworker gets it, you know what I mean? It's like, you're, you're a lot, not now, you don't need to act it out, right? Like that's actually something else I want to mention. A lot of, there's a real distinction between feeling what you're feeling and being with the experience and acting it out. You know, like it's one thing to be frustrated and it's another thing to punch somebody in the face. But I'll tell you though, what's interesting about the acting it out, acting it out is very proportionate to how much we can't be with it. You see what I mean? Like if I'm frustrated and I can't tolerate the frustration, I'm actually gonna try to get, like it's like if I go to punch someone, right? Let's use a better example. If I, <laughs> like, if I'm hungry and I go eat, not that there's anything wrong with that, but like, basically, I'm going to eat because I don't want to, I can't be with the hunger. Not, I'm not advocating you should be with the hunger, I'm just saying that, <laughs> that the, the response is, is to alleviate whatever feeling I've got going on, right? So, to whatever extent I'm comfortable with it and I can just relax into it, then I don't have to then act on it to alleviate it. You see what I mean? 